Hey, hey, quick update on the new post laser from Hyrule Engineering. So this is the original 45 degree post setup with a aiming head, a 45 degree upside down posing head, and weapons attached to the posing head facing the same direction as the aiming head. Uh, if you put this thing on the vehicle, you will find that depending on the distance, sometimes it goes faster, sometimes it's slower, and roughly average about one pulse per second, which is not very fast. Uh, this is our new small angle poser. Uh, the way it is constructed is that uh, the ball joints of the aiming head and posing head are aligned, and the angle is about 11 to 17 degrees, and most crucially, the uh, beam emitter and the aiming head still need to face in parallel directions. And if you put this on the vehicle, uh, it doesn't matter the distance anymore. It's always about 1.9 pulses per second, which is very good. And so this video will explain how it works and how you can make one. Uh, so we already know from a while ago that a small angle can pulse faster uh, on single target. But the big breakthrough by Travel uh, a week ago is that he found out that the head, the construction head, sees from the ball joint. So not from the eye on the top, but as you can see here, through the crack, the ball joint is able to detect the enemy and fire. And so what does it mean for the 45 degree posing setup is that the ball joints of the aiming head and posing head are too far apart. And since they are far apart, depending on distance, their angle will change. Uh, leading to inconsistency. So when this setup uh, 45 is close, it has a higher uh, pulse per second, but if you move it far apart, uh, the pulse per second drops. And that's because the ball joints are not aligned with each other. And so this new design uh, line up the ball joints so they all see straight. And so it's invariant on distance. Depending on distance or not depending on distance, the angle uh, doesn't change. It's always the same angle. And as you can see, if you're close to the enemy, it's 1.9 pulse per second, and if you're far apart, once it sets in, it's also 1.9 uh, pulse per second, which is far more consistent. And so this is a recap of the blueprint, and so you want the balls of the two heads to align. The angle is 11 to 17 degrees. A lot of testing to find that out. Thank you, everyone. Uh, travel and friends basically and it has to be in parallel to each other and so the key component is how can we rotate these devices to keep the aim parallel but creating an angle on the posing head still and so one way is uh, parsnip uh, stake nudging and the way stake nudging work is um, you have two components that you want to pull apart at an angle you attach a stake to it so in this cannon right and the glue will basically stretch and if you auto build it one more time the game will happily forget the tensions on the glue and keep the position and so if you shake this part loose again uh, the two cannons will be misaligned with each other uh, there's an angle between them um, a more consistent way of creating angles and distancing is uh, travels uh, gravity nudging and the way it works is pretty simple uh, you hang something on the wall or anywhere, and then you hang something heavy to it, and that will cause the glue to stretch. And you could preserve the uh, locations of these two components by uh, uh, just saving it into auto build by attaching some random component like a fruit to it, and the game engine would happily forget about the tensions on the glue, but remember the uh, created nudged position. So if you rebuild this with auto build multiple times, each time you scratch the glue a little bit, the gap will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, eventually, you end up with this kind of a shotgun cannon that kind of fire in two different directions. So uh, we could try to make the small angle posing uh, laser with gravity nudging. And so the basic rig is essentially hang up the uh, posing head by the ears with uh, some stakes and then attaching really random weights on different sides of it and try to get the angles to uh, be in such a way that yeah, the aiming head and the beam emitter are parallel to each other while the uh, posing head have a small angle. And once you uh, kind of created the angle, you save it by just attaching a random object into it, so like a fruit, 
and the game would save the angles and forget about the glue tension and rebuilding it one more time uh, basically saves the angles and then you can kind of break open the gift box and uh, do a testing uh, so as we can see here it's almost good but it aims high right and so if you're close uh, you can see the two beams are quite close to each other but if you move uh, further and further you can see the beam come further apart and so it's always important to verify that your beams are parallel which is the one from the aiming head and the one from the posing head so make sure that it could actually hit something so here is a good build where the beams are parallel and you could see uh, the posing head is able to hit and this one is not able to hit because the beams are not parallel uh, but truth be told how to reliably and simply creating a small angle poser is still very much ongoing research I will link in the description uh, some way we know how to build them they are sometimes inconsistent and sometimes uh, too complex and so I hope you can maybe develop your own way of making uh, this very nice post laser and definitely if you're watching this video in the future uh, I will always keep the description uh, up to date to our latest finding uh, thank you for watching